Hello and most welcome to Alexander Technique number 35. We are progressing. 35 episodes and it's becoming more popular. Some of the lectures or standing classes we've been doing here. It's a good sign. Maybe we're on to something good. Let's see, let's, what do you say, Kalle? Should we start with a monkey? Okay. Are you practicing it at home? No. You should do. <laughs> it's very good practice for learning how the hip moves and also to get a better balance of the head and neck connection. Mm. I've been practicing in the moon, but without the chair. Ah. When I hold the moon, it's mm. You should also do it separately if you can. Mm. It's good for your back. We'll see what happens now when you haven't done it for how many days? Four days? Uh, since we met last time, at least one week ago. Mm. I said one week? Well, when was it when we oh. met? Oh, yes, time. something like that. Yes. Let's see if we can get this a bit more. So when you move, you move in the hip and your head can continue to go in that direction like this. And that, and you can flex your knees a little bit like that. Yes, very not too much, yeah. Quite a bit, yeah. So then the head doesn't need to look at the window. Ooh, very good. The head is nicely balanced, no doubt, but I think you could be well advised to do something more with the hip. Yeah, there is the hip. Can you feel it now? Mm. Uh, do not flex your knees anymore, but just your hip. There you go. Now that's your waist. Let's see here. There, there we have the hip. hip. Soon find it. And a bit long, you say yes to inhibiting and no to habits. And think of a directionality going forward like this. Yes, there you have it. Now you regain it. Direction forward makes it much easier to move the arm. I think you can feel that. Mm. So this is direction and I leave the hand there. And think of the back as one whole. So it goes together, up here, down here. So when we flex a bit here, yes, we only flex the back, not the waist, yes. Let me show it. So, and I'm standing like this. I do not bend here. I bend a bit further down. Mm. Actually, it, it, it's here. Can you imagine? Mm. A bit down. I'll show you here, there. And this mm. is very flex. So, so it's a bit more like this than this. You see the difference? So this down here takes you all the way down into the monkey and then you can also flex the knees a bit like that. Like you almost like an accordion, the rock spear, you go up again. <laughs> it's a very relieving feeling. So it's the real uh, so it's down there yeah. really yeah so, so the you think it's here but it's down here so yes you i think i understood you so this is why i'm pressing you should train the monkey because in that position you learn the joint there and maybe down a bit here so 
If I had a skeleton, I could show it on the skeleton how deep down it is. That's very good. Very good, Karen. Now we found it. And I will see if we can use an object. There. and the direction forward, like this, very good, excellent. Now you have a very nice monkey. So as you can see, he's lengthening the back at the same time as he's have turned the joint forward. And this is called uh, a position of mechanical advantage. And in this position, it's much easier to balance up also the head and neck. So your head and neck is much more balanced now. That's nice. Can you feel how balanced it is? Mm. It's very easy to move you with my hands. I don't have to press so much. Mm. So oddly enough, when we're standing in this position, also the head becomes easier, not only the hip. Mm. And later on, when you learn more to direct the knees, also the knees will be easier. Mm. And of course, you can do the monkey even if you're standing, maybe doing the dishes. So you can stand like this. And this is my, <laughs> how do you call it, my dishing mop, and I do like this, and I can keep my uh, awareness all around mm. at the same time, so I'm aware of something in, on top of me, above me, uh, back of me, and then when I'm finished, I, I do like an accordion drug spiel and I walk again. Mm. So think yourself of it as an accordion. Mm. And uh, I will help you with the going up thing here. Yeah, 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 exactly, you got it. Wow, very good, Kalle. Did you feel like an accordion now? Mm. Mm. So that metaphor worked fine with you. <laughs> so. As you can see now, he's much more upright and that is an effect of the monkey and it will linger on maybe for, I don't know, a couple of hours. So that small training will give you a couple of hours of more balance, mm. almost for free. Mm. You didn't have to break any sweat or anything. That's the magic of the hip joint. And I will relieve you of your hands here. So you have a nice directionality here. There's hardly any problem for me to move your arm. Do you see what directions do to your body? Mm. They help you. Mm. So it becomes easier, less strained, and uh, look, I just let it go. <laughs> mm. And the odd thing, as I said so many times, even if you think forward, you can move your arm backwards. Mm. That's a contradiction. So a contradiction to something that's true is also true. <laughs> mm. That's aside from Frank Vilcek. Page 11. Page 11, and also as cited by Ian McKilchrist. This board is the is the original mm. and it goes for Alexander technique as well so and I should use the monkey where as I move as well so it's not only you mm. so when I instruct I try to be in the monkey and to take care of myself as I do it and I go up, like an accordion, and I'm now tall enough to go forward to you. Just going to do one last. 
Wow. If you really want to answer that, I can no, answer that also. Okay. Okay. So, when you're good to go, you can do some activity, whenever you prefer. <clears throat> the song reading. The sun greeting, Surya Namaskar. You are also a spiral. Uh, in a previous episode, we spoke about the spirals, and one way of viewing direction is that it's me spiraling forward. So, space, when I go into space with my hand, that is a sort of spiraling. there if you want to. Let's see if we can get the head a little bit up. Yes, very good. So now the head is a bit more in alignment with the back. So the head starts from here and you also have this nice smile at the back of your eyes. So I think humor, the opposite, that the truth it's the opposite of truth is also truth. It's a bit of humor. Normally we say, no, it cannot be. And there comes seriousness. So project something nice too will help warmth in this <laughs> rather dense coolness we're living in at now. We're in Gothenburg and it's the 27th of December. So imagine liberation, expanse, freedom. Yeah, freedom. Think freedom. Freedom away from opposites. <laughs> yes, that's... And think that there is more space between your shoulders. Does that make any sense? Yes, yes. And here, think a direction. Yeah, yeah. So you are... Yeah. Very good. So you can think a direction of the elbows going both ways, left and right.
Now your back is one unity and you are bending exactly at the hip. See the little monkey did to you? The little babu, little bono bono. <laughs> I think the bono bono is a miniature monkey of some sort. You are that you're still expanding and think more space between your shoulders go back to that beach in Wauhu Wauhu Cancun Cancun the sand is warm it feels soft on your feet The sun is there and you feel relaxed. All tension disappears. You're happy with yourself, you're happy with your life. I think self-confidence comes in as well. To lengthen is to have self-confidence. This is very good lengthening. You feel that you're pointing now with your head, don't you? Yes. Yes, you are pointing. Very good. Well pointed, Kalle. <laughs> Apparently, the uh, the old Alexander of Fruin book, or the early Alexander, I should say, of Fruin book at pupils who didn't obey his orders. I think that sort of pedagogy is way back. I think you can take your knees up a bit like this. Yes, that's more painful to it. And you keep that smile at the back of your eyes, and also that ladybug. Do you remember her? Yes. And she uh, she she doesn't weigh anything like a microgram or two, <laughs> but she's walking on the ridge of your nose. Mm. So it always starts with the ladybug, this beautiful insect. Very helpful for the environment because it eats lice. Expand here and see if we can, like, if you don't, just get your upper part of the body up. There, yes, yes, yes. Very good. Yes. Expand here above yourself, feel all the room you have. <laughs> There's no end to the room. You can think of galaxies, endless space. And this will open up for the right hemisphere to work as well. Hmm, very nice. Good, Kalle. Coming up here, 
prolong your hands or fingers, sorry, the fingers. Yeah, so much softer. And they are like two, three centimeters longer than they are. So I follow you up, you think in elongation all the way up here, all the way up. Prolong that way. And just when you're all the way up here, I will emphasize, think, widening that there is a space between the shoulders here. That will, will make it possible for them to come into action as well. Very good, that's it. You feel that? Yes. So, this is an excellent up position. And the only thing, maybe a bit direction. Yeah, yeah, you got it on. Yeah, perfect. Very good, very good. <laughs> I like it. That's looking good here. I'm going a bit backwards. I think a sense of humor swept in here as well. Very good. So the old monkey is still doing its work. You did it only for two or three minutes, but still it's doing its work. Surya Namaskar. Definitely Surya Namaskar. Amen to that. So you will do a monkey without the chair. This time, um, I will see if I can. Yes, you. The, the, when I look at you now, I can still see you've done the monkey before. So it's the relationship between the hip and the back, but also, very important, the relationship between your head and your neck. This balance you didn't have in the beginning. This is very nice. And I, I know you feel this now. Otherwise you wouldn't be so, so nicely balanced. So f just flex your knees a little bit. Here, here. And flex in there. Yeah, that's. And now we're going to get a monkey without the chair. And now here, yes, there is the hip joint. Perfect. There is the hip joint. And you are now only bending at the hip joint. Nothing else. Mm. Not here. Not here. Only the hip joint. And now you also, you also understand how deep down the hip joint is. It's, it's crazy down. <laughs> it's really weird. This is not what you would expect, but it's very down. Mm. I wish I had a skeleton, but uh, I'm afraid I don't. I used to have one, actually. So now I'm going to do the hands without the chair. This is the forward movement. Yes, very good. So also the balance or the integrity of the hand and the arm has because of what you've done previously changed direction there and you can also go back mm. isn't that amazing mm. and this you can always practice with alexander technique even if you go down you go down in the surya namaskar for instance you think oh maybe i show that to the camera as well I need to go down to the floor and then you think you have to sort of lose your uprightness. No, you don't have to do this. You can continue, you point, you point, you bend at the hip. So here you're pointing at three o'clock for instance. And maybe you can see a bit that the hip joint is really way down. It stretches all the way down here. And I go up without going down. So the upward movement, even if you go deep down, you can keep the upwardness. Mm. 
the reason for that is the back can only extend. Mm. So no matter what you do, even if you go down into a basement or a coal mine, mm. doesn't matter. The only thing the back do is to expand. Mm. That's it. So that is the reason for directionality when it comes to the head. Mm. To keep up with that. It's, it's, yes, it's completely contradictory as well. Mm. Really like that boar sight. Thanks for bringing it up. <laughs> it made my day. <laughs> and since the same thing as we did earlier, you did the monkey for a short while and you had use for it all through the exercise, you will now notice going down to sit. You have now a chair behind you. And I'll see if I can. No, yes, definitely. Nice, very good. And I'll encourage you now to move to the chair. You're safe there. You can go down. Move the floor. You can just. Yes. Oh. <laughs> very good. So now you are on your sitting bones. Can you feel that? Yes. So if you go down with the monkey. You are already in balance with the monkey. Then you continue to sit. Mm. You will automatically be perfectly poised on your sitting bones. Mm. So you don't have to adjust later. Mm. So you can go to your choice of work. For instance, you can start reading a book and say this is a table. And you can read that quote on page 11. Well, you can, you can take the, the book and read it. The legendary. Wait, wait, wait. So, yeah. So now you have absolute good balance. Please go ahead. The legendary Danish physicist needs more. Distinguished two kinds of truths. But an ordinary truth is a statement whose opposite is a falsehood. A profound truth is a statement whose opposite is also a profound truth. Mm. So the change in your voice, did you hear that? Mm. Your voice is now more vibrant. It's more conscious. It is not as like, I don't know, this is when I'm no balance. If I go up here, I find more balance and there is a certain ring to my voice. Mm. This is what you get from sitting on the sitting bones or, of course, standing on your two feet. Mm. So one could say that the sitting bones that you found now mm are the equivalent to your feet. Mm. So they do the same thing, so to speak. And now you're sitting excellently. Mm. And you're more poised and you will be able maybe to continue, let's say for 40, 45 minutes, mm. keeping that balance. Of course you can move around. Mm. But you know the position now. If you bring your feet in a bit, Maybe a bit more. Yeah. So if you can take it out of this position, like this. Yes, yes, very good. You expand. <laughs> now you got it. Now you are completely upright. So it didn't take much time to reawaken that in you. We've been gone a week. Mm. Uh, it was a bit absent in the beginning. Now it returned. Mm. How do you feel now? I'm um, good, great. Yeah. But you look, oh, very good, Kali. Thank you very much for that. Mm. Uh, and applaud. Thank you.